I'm going to be doing a comparison of these two. I got this for Christmas. This is the most pigmented, most amazing eyeshadow palette or eyeshadows period I've ever used. These colors are so great. So, 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 so great. Um, I, I, I ordered a second one for myself. I actually got it today. It's over there in the corner. Um, but I also ordered this to try it out just to give me something to compare it to. So I'm going to compare it, I guess, right here in my hand somewhere and see the difference between the two and the pigmentation and how well it smears and stuff. Excuse my gross nails. That's what you get for using dollar nail polish. So the inside of this looks like that. It's got a mirror up here, which I want to make sure it doesn't show me. And this one looks like this. Very similar colors, I believe. So the colors here are Black Hole, Earth, Universe, Star, Eclipse, Milky Way, Nebula, Moon Dust, Cosmic, Asteroid, Moon, and Sun. And for the Supernatural one, the colors are Baby, Demonize, Angel, Jerk, Grace, Hunter, oops, where am I? Hunter, Witchy, Free Will, Bitch, Possession, Pie, Aspa, and Rock Salt. So I use this one all the time. So I'm going to fold that back. I'm just trying to get the... Uh, mirror out of the way. I haven't actually opened this yet, so I've got to peel the tape off. Sorry about that. Okay. Let's zoom this down a little. Okay, so for starters, I'm really curious about this one since this is the new one. I'm going to just go ahead and put my phone case kind of over that because I really, really do not want to be seen today. So we'll do this and let's see, turn on some light. So let's start with black hole, which looks exactly like baby. So this is what it looks like on my finger and first swatch is very sparkly but kind of light at the same time kind of charcoaly not as black baby on the finger looks like that and on the hand it looks like that so it's a little bit more powdery I guess you need to wipe it in a little bit I think I got a chunk so for this one supernatural wins baby doesn't have as much sparkle as black hole but as far as how dark it is it is much much darker next i'm going to try earth which looks similar to angel so this is earth and this is like a just a shiny silver that's quite pretty it's sparkly and it's pretty pigmented Angel, that's Angel. It's lighter, more silvery. Um, this looks kind of like a gunmetal. This looks like silver. Uh, I'd have to say this one, this one wins. Next, we're going to try Universe. This is Universe, so I'm doing like this on both universe is like this it's a beautiful blue again it's it gets kind of light when you go to put it on i am starting with a clean finger each time just so you know i am being fair and uh, this is jerk so again jerk is much darker universe has got some nice sparkle in it it's like a kind of shimmery metallic blue and jerk is more of a like a solid blue but it is still much more pigmented um star i guess star is quite close to angel so i'm going to compare these two angel and star so this is star it's more of the silvery i'm just going down the line and it's pretty much set up almost exactly how the supernatural one is set up except the supernatural one is bigger it has more color 
So that's actually really pretty. That is that is closer to Angel. And this is Angel. So those two are almost identical. They're there's no difference that I can see side by side. There's no difference. They're exactly the same color. Okay, there is no color here that matches Eclipse. So I'm just going to show you Eclipse as it is. This is what it looks like on the finger. I'll try to get a little bit more on. And on the hand, it's uh, like a coppery, reddish, brownish kind of color. It's like a purple, red, brown color. I can't really explain it. Um, this is Milky Way. Milky Way is a beautiful bright purple. That's really shimmery. That is really pretty. The closest is Witchy from the Supernatural. So Witchy looks like this. It's a purple but it's a much darker purple so I don't expect them to be the same. Um, the reason that the Supernatural ones are looking clumpy when I put them on is because I'm having I'm wetting my finger and wiping my finger off and it's a, catching on the wetness so that's why it looks like that so I'm ignoring the clumps but I'd have to say with this one I kind of like Milky Way more just because it's brighter and it's got more of that shine to it next is Nebula there's not really a similar one over here um, the closest I would say would probably be Bitch, just because Bitch is also red. Kitty Cat, you cannot come over here right now. Let's try this. Okay, so I'll try Nebula. That's more purple. It's a purpley red, so it's, again, it's not the same color. So that's like a straight up purple pinky purple almost. This is Bitch. Let me just... Bitch is... I don't know, it's like a dried blood kind of red. More of a dried blood red. I can't say that there's a winner here, but if I had to choose one I'd say Bitch because that's more of the shade that I would personally use. I'm not a fan of like a pinky kind of, you know, shades. Now we're over to colors that there really isn't a comparison to, except for sun and rock salt, I suppose. So I'll do sun. This is sun. It's just like a, a white shimmer. That's for people that like to highlight and contour I could see this being an amazing highlighter you can see it's just shining off of the skin I don't personally use highlighters so this wouldn't be any good for me but this would work really well for someone that does highlight rock salt is not as much of a white it's just more of a powdery kind of I, I do use it to highlight my my brow area I'm old school like that I do what you're not supposed to do so it fades away pretty much skin color doesn't really show up. For me, I like rock salt because I just use it to subtly highlight my brow or lack of. <laughs> but for other people, definitely sun, they would love. Now I will go to the colors that I have not used yet. So this is Demon Eyes. This is just pure black. This is what that looks like. And it is just a dark, pure solid black. This is what I use for my eyebrows. As my eyeliner, um, the corner of my eye, all that stuff. Because it's just, you dip it once, you dip the brush in once, and it gives you the most beautiful, pure, fine line. If I had my makeup bag, if I thought about it, I would have done it and showed you. Um, Grace. Grace is a shimmery blue. And that is a beautiful blue. I have not used this color. I haven't even tried it out. Hunter is just a green. I have used this. Of course, me and my green. Green's like my color now. <laughs> I still love my red, but I, I'm in love with green hair, so. Um, what else? 
Free Will. This is another one I haven't even tried. This is like a peachy kind of color, like a sparkly peach color. I don't really know what that would be good for. I could see like normal girls using this as a lip highlighter to highlight in the center of your lip because it is kind of like a peachy brown color, but not really something that I would use at this moment. If I could find something and somehow I would probably, but at the moment, no. Um, let's see. Possession is next. And this is just a muddy brown color. I used to use nothing but browns. I don't use brown anymore. This is a pretty nice brown. I guess it could be used for contouring, I suppose. I know everything looks like it's got a shimmer on it because I've got light, but that, that's what it looks like without it. I just wanted to highlight the colors a bit more, so I'm really sorry. It's probably a mistake. This is pie, and this is a lighter brown, like a terracotta kind of brown, I'd say, but more of a rich brown. So those two together could probably be used for some good contouring. And the last one here is Ass Butt. Ass Butt is, again, it's kind of a peachy color, more skin color, like that. it's almost no color at all. Very close to rock salt, but a little bit darker. All right, so as for these, what have I not used? Um... Moon Dust, Cosmic Asteroid, and Moon. So we'll try these. Moon Dust looks like just a shiny pink. I've got so much shimmer over here. That is really, really pretty. I wonder if I turn off the flash if you could see that better. So you can't really see the shine as much without the light on. But uh, that is beautiful. I would actually try to find a way to use that because that is so pretty. Pink's not my thing, but I'd make an exception for that. This is Cosmic. This is a blue version of what this pink is. Very light, very shiny, very shimmery. Lots and lots of shimmer there with a very pale blue hue to it. This is Asteroid. And this is a richer blue with a lot of shimmer. So that is also really pretty. These just gleam off of your skin. Lastly, this is Moon. This is a, I guess this is a silvery sparkle. Um, there's not really a lot of pigmentation here, but it is darker. I guess it's a blacky silver kind of gunmetal looking shade. So final thoughts are I'd say that my favorite of the two would have to still be Supernatural because it is so, so pigmented. There's no denying that you can just, you use so little of it, it blends, it spreads, and it stays on all day long. This is the most amazing palette and color, colors, you know, that, uh, that I've ever used, even more than my go-to, which was L'Oreal Infallible, I've started using this. I don't use L'Oreal anymore. I just use this. The brush that comes with it, I personally do like, but a lot of people don't. This here on Hot Topic is only like $11, maybe $17, not on sale. But if you go anywhere else, this is on sale for like $60, $40 to $60. So if you're going to get it, I suggest getting it from HotTopic.com. This here, this isn't bad by far. It is not bad. Um... I got this one on sale. This is normally $8.90. <clears throat> and uh, this would be great for somebody that likes to use highlighters. You know, the rainbow highlight thing was a big thing not too long ago. You could layer it up yourself and make your own rainbow highlight. This is like, it's like your skin is like plastic. It, it is very otherworldly. It does remind me of something that would be cosmic. So this interstellar theme that they've got going on really does suit this palette because it does bring to mind Spacey. If you're looking for a subtle dash of color with a lot of sparkle and shimmer and highlight, this palette would be good for you. Someone who doesn't like really dark colors, but who wants a bit of color and a lot of shine and a lot of sparkle. You can't see it as much without the light on it. It changes 100%. This is just like a, a wash of 
really light nothing color. Um, it is dark in my room, so you can't really get an in-between, but it does highlight beautifully for people that are into it. It makes your skin look like plastic almost. So uh, there are so many little microscopic granules of shimmer in here. Like It is like nothing I've ever seen. It is really beautiful to look at. It is just not my style. I will still use it. I'll layer it up with other stuff. But um, I think a lot more people would probably be interested in this. I also got this off of Hot Topic. But um, that is my review, my personal thoughts. If you have both or have tried both, what were your favorites? What did you think? Are you more interested in this one or this one? Um, I'm just glad I got a second one of this. Josh got me this for my for Christmas, and I was like, oh my god, please don't be offended. I want another one. And so I got myself a second one of backup. So now I could use this one and not feel guilty that I'll never get another one. So I'm really, really happy about that. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this helped in some way. Please let me know what you think, and I will see you guys another time. Bye.